Hi everyone, so here we have the Cookology mini dishwasher for tabletop. Um, this is ideal for people who are preferably not looking to plumb their dishwasher in. Um, it's also ideal for people who live in uh, flats, small accommodations. Uh, for example, I'm in a high rise of flats right now, so it's really ideal for me. Um, it's not very that expensive to run on the energy side of things, the consumption as you can see is there but it's not really I don't really notice a difference it does show you that it's the bottom but to be honest I don't notice I don't really think that's correct because it doesn't seem to go down that much um but it is a really good dishwasher um I've used this for about two months now um everything that I've had in it has been perfect um the dishes that we've got out have been spotless um you know any sort of coffee stains or anything like that no problem whatsoever um i'll just give you a brief overview um of what i mean so opening it up it's not that small um when you open it up nice tray comes out nice and easy there so you've got your top tray here for the uh, cutlery a few little um needle stands here for your plates um mugs everything like that you can just put here but obviously there is a lot of space at the front and the back for more mugs if needed um so you have got a lot of different um you know a lot of different spaces there uh to use um just give you a brief overhead look um so that's the tray itself um i'll just quickly pull out this here so at the back here is your salt so i have just filled this up so if i were to take that off now it does bubble up a little bit but you can see the salt is in there so that's fine and then that will click in place you'll hear it click this is your main spinner uh, for your water you can see the holes there um if i just take this tray out in total a bit of a better look see this um so yeah this is your main filter here um so any sort of bits that you may have left on the plates for example nothing too big really so i try and rinse off my plates uh, in the sink then pop in here anything that any sort of extra bits for example would get caught here um this is really easy to remove so there's an arrow here you might be able to see that and an arrow there so they need to line up um but Simply turn it anti-clockwise, it'll stop, lift, and you can see the water in there, but you can just rinse that, rinse that under your tap faucet, and then pop it back in, turn, and you'll hear it click in place and just turn it until the arrows line up there again. So it's really, really easy um, to maintain to do maintenance on it. That's pretty much it for the maintenance side of things, um, which is really really simple. Again, just close that. And then moving on to the control panel side of things now. Um, this didn't take me that long to figure out. I didn't actually have to look at the instructions, but that's because I'm a total geek. Um, but yeah, so your power button, obviously, hold that down for about two seconds, thumbs on. Um, now, we'll get to that tap sign in just a second. So this is program one, two hours 40. Now. There is two functions, extra functionalities with this um, specific model dishwasher. There is the extra dry, and then there's, um, I think it's called a storage setting. So basically you press the function once, which is extra dry. You'll see the time has gone up to three hours. This is the econom economical setting. Program one is economical for three hours because we've hit extra dry. If you press that again, it will change it just to storage, which is 2 hours 40. And that just basically, once it's finished, leaves the fan going at the side, which is just this vent here, which will get rid of any smells. If you had curry, for example, things like that. Um, but there's no extra dry, as you can see. But if you press it again for a third time, you will see that both storage and extra dry are both there and it's gone back up to three hours. Now, you have got a fruit setting which is for fruit, I don't know, grapes, for example, things of that nature. If you wanted to rinse them off before eating, you can do so. 
There is also a baby bottle, which if you have small children that need a bottle, um, sterilizing, this will do it for you. This sterilizes pretty much anything. Um, <laughs> there is also a steam button here, which you can add on, um, which will steam everything to, to sterilize it. But to be honest, you'll notice when I press that accidentally, then the extra dry has gone off. So when you have extra dry on, it turns the steam off because extra dry gives it steam to dry anyway. So personally, I have an extra dry just because it sterilizes everything and it does bring it out pretty much crystal clear dry. Um, moving on to program two now. So you just press the P button there for the next program. This is program two, and this is just the one hour setting. You can see all the settings are here. So program one is eco, program two we're on now is the one hour. If I press the P again, we'll go to program three, which is called a rapid setting, which is only 29 minutes. Um, with some of the settings, um, if we go back to the second, you'll see in function, you can only have the storage, you can't have extra dry on the, fun on the one hour setting. If we move to the third setting, which is rapid. Again, only the storage can be used, not extra dry, which is only 29 minutes. Program four, this is if you have a lot of glassware, so I don't know, wine glasses, for example. Um, one hour 25, with this one, you can both have the storage and extra dry again. Pretty much the same thing. Um, now, if you wanted to delay this, so we use program number one, the eco setting, and we have extra dry on. We don't really have the the, the, the storage one on um, to remove any smells because we don't really have many strong foods. Um, so if you wanted to delay this, there is a clock button here. Press that, so an hour, one, two, three, four, and it will just keep going. I'm not quite sure what number it goes up to, but if we keep pressing it, we'll find out. Yeah, so 24 hours was my assumption. So yeah, I was right. So basically this means you can hold it for two hours, for example, and then it will go from there. Now, with this tap icon now, that obviously means there is no water in the tank, as I mentioned at the start. Um, you don't need to actually plumb this dishwasher in because at the very back, you'll see that there is this little cap, which doesn't have to be screwed off. It just simply lifts off. And with the dishwasher, you got this jug, which is 1.8 litres. Now, this is a five litre tank built into this dishwasher, as it says here with the information, five litres. And the noise, obviously sound, how, how loud it is. To be honest, it's not that loud. It doesn't sort of go over the TV, you can still talk with it on. Um, but you get that jug with it and while doing so you will basically need to fill it's around three jugs maybe just over three jugs full to fill it in total and it will give you an alert of once it has been filled now i'm going to just quickly show you what i mean so if i just pop you guys there which you can see just about, let me just quickly adjust the camera here, guys. <clears throat> One second. Perfect. So, as I mentioned, the jug, which is 1.8 litres, um, usually takes about three jugs to fill it in total, but it will give you an alert sound once it's been done. So simply just get cold water. And you can either use the funnel to fill, or you can just simply pour it in. I tend to use the funnel because it makes a, it, makes a, it doesn't make as much mess. Um, so it's a lot easier to use the funnel. Just place the funnel and hold it at the edge and just gently pour, not too fast because it will go everywhere else. So just gently pour it in. So that's the one, and then you get the second.
you'll notice when it starts to get full because the sound of the tank filling will change. You'll notice, you'll hear it, but you don't have to worry about overfilling it because it will alert you once it's full. So that's the second, this is the third. Jug in now. Okay, so that's the third jug. It's not actually full yet because it hasn't alerted me. So I just need to put a little bit more. It's usually about just under half. Just under half, so let's just try that. There we go. So less than half, there's still a bit left in there. So just tip that away. And you'll now see that the tap sign has actually disappeared. So if I just reset this by turning this off, hold it down, back on, you go straight to program one. The tap sign's now off, okay? And you can see that, um, you, you know, it's ready to go, basically. Um, now, in regards to um, tablets or sort of any sort of, or any really, you can use any uh, tablet or um, liquid if you use liquid or the powder even, it's fine. Um, now, Obviously, once you've filled it up, you do need to remember to put the cap back on. Um, I don't think anything would happen if you didn't, but I always say put it back on just in case. Any sort of um, residue, you can simply wipe away if there's any there. Um, and then obviously once you have filled it and you've got your plates and everything loaded, obviously I've got nothing because I've just literally washed my plates up. Um, but you can just simply Pop everything in, pop your powder, tablet, whatever in, you know, and it will go in here. But if you have a tablet like we do, when you close the door, it will most likely fall out into the main part. But don't worry about that because that is what is supposed to happen. And then once you're ready, just hit the play, which is play and pause. It will drain. And as I, men as I did mention, there is a, well, I didn't mention actually, there is a pipe because of no plumbing. It's a waste pipe. We have it running along here and we have it running going straight down into the sink and which is just doing now, it's just draining everything. So that's the pipe, which will just lead straight into the back. It will show you in the instructions manual on how to actually um, fit that, but it's just draining now. And these sort of extra water that have been made, made maybe in the system previously, but I think it might be filling up now. There we go, so you can just see in there, it just comes from, I haven't noticed it coming from anywhere else, any other corners, I just think it is that bit there where the water comes from. So that loud noise does make it mean, sorry, it means that it is draining. It goes slightly quieter, just pumping water in there now. It usually takes about one minute to fill. It just fills the bottom base of inside completely with water. And then once you have it with water, it will start to spin the paddle. And the water will be very strong and aggressive once it's uh, going, which will clean things very, very well. The light, which is at the top, just there. That usually stays on for about two to three minutes and once it's going it just goes off just for energy consumption. But yeah we'll just wait for that to start to, fit to finish off just so I can show you guys. So you can see it's flowing there. But yeah this is the the Cocology make. Um, obviously I'm in the UK it was about 250 pounds brand new off eBay from one of the stores, uh, sorry, Amazon, from one of the Amazon stores. Um, really, really nice model, very nice and sleek, you know, very clean and tidy, fits perfect, 
and there we go, you can see now that it started. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure what it sounds like over camera, but it isn't that loud. We are obviously in the living room next door. Doors quite shut, we have the TV on and it doesn't really disturb us to be honest. And it's a really, really good piece of kit. Now obviously there is nothing in there because I had nothing to wash or not enough to wash. Um, so it's not really a, a good sort of how well it cleans review. I just wanted to show you the workings of it and obviously the a small tutorial, which is my first tutorial. So I apologize in regards to the camera wobbly and bit of, you know, positioning the camera in some positions, but it's just my first tutorial ever. So I think for my first tutorial, it's done pretty well. Um, I hope it's helped any of you out. If you're thinking of buying one, I'd highly recommend it. It's really good, as I said at the start, for people that are in small accommodations, um, flats, high rise of flats, if you can't plumb it in, or you need permission, you don't need permission for this, this is perfect. It doesn't make a loud noise, so you're not going to disturb your neighbours or friends or whoever. Um, ideal for caravans as well, static caravans if you can't plumb anything in, or you just can't be bothered to do the washing up, it's perfect. Um, we obviously have our rise of flats here, so it's really, really helpful for us. It's just me and my partner. And as I said, for me, just me and my partner, it is really, really, really good. I think if it's probably more than three people, you might struggle, um, depending on how much washing up you have, really. Um, also, with the plate sizes, um, plates that we have are pretty much a good size, they all fit in. We do have two larger plates that are quite bigger which don't quite fit and we have to lie them down. But to be honest, everything else with it fits in perfect, no problem, and the cleaning results are amazing. I will most likely do another video when there is some more washing up, and I will make another video on how well it cleans, and then I will put them both together so you can see before and after um, of the actual results. But thank you for watching i hope you have found this helpful and if you found it helpful just give it a like and feel free to follow thanks bye